Hey guys, Tough Thumbs here, hanging out with Sebastian. Uh, I got a sale video here, guys. Uh, some stuff uh, belongs to, you know, some stuff from Sebastian, some stuff from me, and some stuff from Vance. Just some things we got to get rid of. Uh, a couple of my things are to, you know, go towards the mill and uh, other materials and stuff. And Vance, you know, he's just, you know, more money for his big knives. So, <laughs> but uh, and also, you know, Sebastian's got a couple for sale. I got a couple for sale. So. Just gonna get into that and then uh, talk about black slate guys, black slate carbon fiber. You guys know I'm a huge fan of his carbon fiber. Uh, dude's name is Tyson. Great guy. He's become a friend of mine. Um, and uh, if you like marble carbon fiber, guys, like the reason you don't see much of it is because it's, he's the only one who makes it. And uh, he wants to make some more, and he got an opportunity to get what he needs to make it. But he's gonna need, you know, a lot of support from everybody to to basically uh, go in on it with him. So uh, if you go to blacksitecarbonfiber.com. Uh, you can get in touch with them. I'm talking like, uh, you know, like uh, knife part distributor, you know, like uh, material company like Alpha Knife Supply and everything if you're watching this video. You know, uh, you, you know anybody who wants a large amount of it or whatever, or, or you know, to sell, I don't know. He'll give you the details, um, but I'm going to get more in depth into it in another video just so I can, uh, you know, get my, my stuff straight because I kind of talked to him while I was playing Black Ops. So, but anyway. So we'll start here. Number one here, we got the uh, TFF1 pimped by some Tough Thumbs guy. Uh, it's got black G10, backspacer, ti titanium, sandblast, stonewash, uh, acid wash blade, nice mirror edge there. It's got the Vance treatment on it, so it's been carried by Vance. That means it's smoother. You know. So uh, this one is actually, if you want it, guys, it's 750. Uh, it's a damn cool knife. I mean, I like the Praetorian better, but you know, you know, I ain't getting rid of mine, and he ain't getting rid of his. So, but this is a cool knife. He loves it. He swears by it. Just got a new one. So, you know, if you guys want this 750, you'll never find it that low. It's just like that real huge quarter inch D2. Um, just awesome knife, guys. It's a beast and a half. Is that one of the first ones? This is one of the first ones. Yes, this is the first. Fat Daddy, I guess the hell you call him, TFF1 or something. I don't know. Vance's there's all the details. But uh, yeah, guys, let me know if you want this guy. Uh, 750. It's probably the lowest price one ever. It's not really been used at all. There's not even a mark on it anywhere. Uh, it looks really cool. Uh, not to say that Medford stuff isn't cool looking as it is. If you like big knives. It's a big knife. Yeah, it's a beast of a knife. What is the weight on it? Like 10 ounces? I don't know. It weighs enough to be a boat anchor. So then we got the uh, one-off tough knife, uh, gentleman fixed blade, uh, which nobody on this planet seems to want. Uh, it's D2. It's awesome. You guys know how much I suck at cutting paper on camera. This one, you know, I have no problem at all. It's nice and sharp. It's shiny. Uh, I'm gonna, I'll repolish it up just to get any marks because I've been using it a little bit because nobody wants it. OD Green Scales, this one 250 with the sheet. I'm not going any lower than that because I can't believe it hasn't sold yet because it's it beautiful. D2 steel. D2, which is great steel. I don't know, people are saying it's garbage steel or something like that. I have no idea what they're talking about because I find the edge retention to be great on it and it's, it's great hard use tool steel. So. Guys, don't listen to the snobs out there. They don't exactly know everything. They're very biased when it comes to steel types. So, you know, just judge for yourself. I can tell you for sure, OS 8 sucks. But, you know, other than that, I mean, 440, you know, I'm not going to get into that right now. So, anyway, and next up, we got this guy, 15001 steel. I'm going to fix up the scratches on it. Uh, it's a little drop point guy, just kind of a one off 01. Also comes with a sheath as well. Vance made. Looks great. I just need to get those scratches out. Um, <clears throat> next up, now we're going to uh, Sebastian's territory. So we got the Mini L LPC. LPC. I always get confused with that. Uh, this is the one I did with the Sabanzo pattern. Black G10 peel ply with the Anzo right in the right spots. Centering's perfect. Lockup's perfect. Black coated. It's got like flames on it a little bit here and there. Some skulls in there. It's kind of weird to see. You know, it's got a nice, really sharp edge on it. 
Uh, the black coating is just a little wear around the edges, which gives it a, a better look. I'm sorry, I like it better like that. <laughs> I'm not even lying to you, just to sell it for you. I think it looks really nice like that with just those little... But uh, yeah, you see the flames there on the clip and everything. Not really much wear on the clip. But uh, guys, this one is pretty much in new condition. Smooth as hell, super comfortable. Uh, this one is, what was it, 600? Yeah. 600. Sniper Blade Works with the pimp job. Probably the best scale I've ever seen on a uh, Sniper Blade Works. I have the original. And the original comes with it too, even though you should probably throw that out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. So, yep. This one is great, guys. I mean, the the, the new price new is what, like 550, 600? Yeah. 550-ish, like yeah. but with the scale on it. Find. It's hard yeah, to find. Yeah, it's hard to find now. Uh, it's got a little smudges on it because of fingers. So, that's six, guys. Um, next, you got the Gentleman Jim here. Um, this one was also pimped by me, uh, but it was polished. I polished everything on it, but he polished the uh, liners and the inside, and it's very, 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 very smooth now. Lockup is great for an Emerson. Solid as a rock. It thing is ridiculously smooth. Centered. Yes, it is centered nicely. This is a nice knife. And uh, I did a really good job on the carbon fiber on this. Uh, it was It's just nice and it's not too thick, but it's not too thin. It just really fills your hand out nicely. Polished carbon fiber. So if you guys want this one, it is 350. For a one of a kind, pimped out gentleman Jim, which is a great knife, very stabby, pointy. And by the way, guys, don't ever use your Nalaka for anything, because yeah, I'm gonna send that back to Spider Co. That was no use whatsoever. Just kind of poke something with it by accident, and uh, there goes the tip, and it's bent like halfway down the thing. So I'm sending that one back for a new one, guys. That kind of sucks. But, you know, it says there's a warning inside, not for hard use, so. But it's worth it for me to get a new one. But next up, guys, we got the high high dollar stuff here. We got a custom Salmonero. Uh, one of the more sought after knife makers out there. Uh, this one's really special. This one was one in the uh, at the New York Custom Show, which is like, he had some of his best work out there. And this is definitely, uh, a lot of people were uh, looking at this guy. There was only four of his knives. Right? Yeah, there was only four, and uh, Sebastian had the uh, pleasure of winning one. Um, but these things are insanely valuable, especially in the secondary market. Um, I already explained that to you guys, so, you know, if you can't handle it, then, then go to the next room. But this thing is a gorgeous piece of work, all hand uh, checkering, and uh, you got the Monero, uh, his uh, signature checkering on the backspacer there. Got a really nice uh, orange peel. Like really heavy orange peel. I don't even know how the hell he does that. Perfect lockup, like really smooth. Centering's perfect. The steel is, um, this is a different one, BDC, which is a, I'm gonna try to do this, Boy Dentritic Cobalt. Basically, uh, Total waters. This is like titanium on steroids, pretty much. Like you know, like a titanium knife won't hold an edge. This will. Um, you don't even need to heat treat the shit. I'm pretty sure this one was heat treated, but you don't need to heat treat it and get a nice edge. Basically, I think you get a, no, a hard. I don't think you need to heat treat it. It's, it's actually the alloy. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't know much about it. It cuts. It's not magnetic and it's non rusting. So. Mm, there's some nickel in there and cobalt and chrome keeps cutting okay so yeah it's it's basically a real space this a one-of-a-kind or you know that I'm not sure but uh, I had four of them they had four of them on the show and I don't think he made the other ones so. yeah so you got a really nice hand rub very very nice got the Monero logo there just uh, one of the uh, legends in the knife making world guys yeah, this is a uh, really nice very comfortable my hands are getting it all dirty now they're actually clean this is my hands clean, guys, after scrubbing. So, real comfy. It's a non rusting rash. It's good for somebody who has a boat. Yeah, exactly. So, if you're in water a lot, around water, and you're in a, you know, you live off the coast somewhere, 
uh, you know, no rust, and uh, your titanium frame lock, which is solid as hell. Uh, perfect build on this thing. So this one is 1500 So 1500 bucks, guys. Uh, it's a pretty damn good price for this thing. I've seen them go for more. So let me know if you want this one, and I'll put you in contact with Sebastian. Same with these three here. Um, if somebody wants this guy, make me an offer. My custom here. I uh, just put a detent in it, so it's got a detent now. I'm making a backspacer for it too, but it locks up solid. Lock pushes over a slight bit, but it's solid. There's no blade play. It's a weird lock up on it, but it is uh, my first completed frame lock, so make me an offer on this guy if you want it. Don't be an asshole. So. I promise you guys, I did some pimp jobs. I don't want to show them tonight. Um, I got a lot of stuff to do, so uh, I want to have a couple more things in the video that I'm working on done instead of just showing a couple things. So if you want this guy, it's going to get a, probably a carbon fiber backspacer. Good centering on it and everything. Cool. Comfy. See you guys. You know, help. You know, check out the black site carbon fiber. Uh, give them a call if you're, a, you know, a materials dealer or you're into knife making, and you're serious about carbon fiber and you want to get the marble guys. I, I really hope this works out because I love marble carbon fiber, uh, and I would love to get more of it. I want to work with it all the time because it's my favorite carbon fiber. And uh, you know, if it's not, we're not getting in here. You know, it might not ever be around for a while, a couple years, man. Who knows? But uh, I'll get a more detailed video about that. And definitely uh, text me. Uh, get a hold of me. Call me tomorrow or, you know, tonight if you get, you know, it's 8.49 right now. Before 11. Doubt the video will be up before then, but, you know. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. So, it's a little knife porn for you if you, you know, sorry. I know you guys hate the sale videos, so thumbs down all the way. Peace.